Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Prove by induction the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. That is, prove that for r not equal to 1, a plus AR plus AR squared plus dot 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 plus AR n minus 1 equals A times 1 minus R to the power of n over 1 minus R. Okay, so we have to prove that formula that we use over and over again when we're doing M sequence in series. Okay, but it is just a, a, another sum of a series uh, proof by induction. Uh, so don't get too worried about it um, if it looks a bit difficult. Okay, so our first step, as always, show true for n is equal to 1. Okay, so on my left hand side, I take my first term. So I just have a on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have a times 1 minus r to the power of 1 over 1 minus r. Okay, 1 minus r cancels with the 1 minus r, so I'm left with just a equals to a, so um, that's it shown true for n is equal to 1. Okay, let's assume true for n is equal to k, so I'll end up with a plus a r plus a r squared plus dot 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 a r to the power of k minus 1 equals a times 1 minus r to the power of k over 1 minus r. Okay, so nothing too um, spectacular there really. There's not much I can do with it. Just write it out with n is equal to k. Okay, let's prove true then. Step three, prove true for n equals k plus 1. So on the left hand side, I have a plus a r plus a r squared plus dot 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 plus a r to the k to the minus one. Remember, I always work from here, leave that in it, and just add on my new term, which is one up from that, which is a to the power of a r to the power of k becomes k plus one. And then of course I still have that minus one. So k has become k plus one, but I still have that minus one on there. And on the right hand side, that'll be a times one minus r to the power of k plus one over one minus r. Okay, so just like always, I'm gonna sub in my assumption for the first part. So we're assuming that that part of the sequence sums to this. So on the left-hand side, I'll have a times one minus r to the power of k over one minus r. Add on my extra term uh, k plus 1 minus 1 would just be k, so a r to the power of k. I'm trying to see if I can simplify the right hand term. Not really, not yet anyway. Okay, let me go on to a new page then. I'm just going to write this bit down again because I'm going to get a common denominator and do some messing around with the left hand side. So just the left hand side for now a times 1 minus r to the power of k over 1 minus r, and I added on my new term, which is a r to the k. Okay, so just like always, we'll get a common denominator. It's 1 minus r in this case. So the first bit stays the same because that's already over 1 minus r, and this bit needs to be multiplied by 1 minus r. Okay, let me see now, let's multiply out this bit and see if we can get some of it to simplify down. A times one minus R to the power of K plus A R to the power of K minus A R by R to the power of K. So all I did there was multiply that by one, which gave me this term. and multiply this by the minus R, which gave me this term. Okay, I see A appearing everywhere, so I'm going to factor him out. Plus R to the power of K 
minus r by r to the power of k. Okay. Okay, so I hope it didn't lose anybody there. The a was factored out here. So I just factored it out of these two terms as well. And I'm left with one minus r to the power of k plus the r to the power of k plus or minus or by or to the power of k. Okay, they're going to cancel for me. So I'm left then with a times one minus or by or to the power of k over one minus or. Then using the rules of indices, because uh, I see I have a base number to the power of one by a base number to the power of k. So I'm going to use this one where I add the indices. So I'll have a times one minus r to the power of k plus one. I'm just writing them backwards. Okay, so there's my base number r, and then I just went k plus one. I just wrote them backwards because I know that this one is k plus one. So my right hand side on that one was already a times one minus r to the power of k plus one over one minus r. Okay, so the left hand side now equals the right hand side. Okay, therefore p of k plus one holds true, assuming p of k is true as p of one is also true, p of n is true for all n an element of n. Okay, so proving the sum of a geometric series using proof by induction. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.